All right, y'all, I am super pumped about this. I got this package late last night. Actually, I got it during, yesterday evening, uh, but we didn't get in until late last night, and I, uh, I didn't want to open it because I wanted to video it. So this is actually, uh, if you've watched some other videos, you may have heard, I, I don't know how, I know I talked about the snapping turtle leather, but anyway, I sent some fur this year instead of, uh, instead of to sell or to have tan, the fur tan, I sent it off to have the leather tan. Now, I've been tinkering around a little bit with leather craft and I just thought, uh, you know, NAFA, the, the June, July sale just finished. So this is July 2018 if you're watching this in the future. Um, but the July sale just finished and on my coyotes I averaged 631 I think, which is not spectacular by any means, especially with coyotes are as hot as they are. Um, but it's better than two years ago when I got less than two dollars, right? Um, so beavers, I uh, and I had a good bit of many beavers that didn't sell that were bought back, and uh, they averaged uh, like eight fifty, which again not terrible, but not what I was going for. Um, coons, my coons were in the three dollar range, and I tried to kind of high grade them a little bit, so. Some of the coons that I had tanned, I saved some more to get tanned just in case this turned out well, were uh, some of my lower quality coons. So um, anyway, just in a general, and that, that's the, the fur market shifts from year to year. I could get $20 a coon next year. Not likely with the southern fur, the southern coons, and the, and the quality that we have down here. But um, anyway, so I was just trying to kind of think outside the box, think of something else I could potentially do, and, uh, and I saw... I found a, a company called Specialty Leather, and they sell all kinds of, uh, they'll tan pretty much anything, and they, they kind of specialize in hair off tanning. So I sent, tried to get at least one of everything I caught this year and sent it to have the tan for the leather. So I'm fixing to open it up. I'm pretty pumped to see um, what it is also. My wife killed her first buck this year, so I sent it off to get tan, figure, you know, maybe we can do something out of it. Uh, I sent some beaver tails to get tan, and also, of course, the snapping turtles that I'm really excited about. The guy, when he called me to, to uh, tell me that my stuff was shipping out, he told me that, uh, he said, you're going to be really, really happy with those snapping turtle uh, leather. So, I'm pumped up to see what we got here, so I'm going to open it up with you, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Invoices out of the way. That's the not fun stuff. Check out these beaver tails. Look at that. I can't remember electric blue or something. That's pretty cool. Black. I'll lay all this stuff out and, and show you in a minute. Black beaver tails. Brown. They got tons of different colors, and I wasn't sure what to go with. That's pretty. That's pretty cool though. Um, so I just kind of. Try to mix and match and get a variety just to see. That's pretty sharp, man. That that tail leather actually wound up being that's a lot sturdier than I expected, honestly. Um, just from you know that tail, especially around the edges when you're skinning that thing, it's pretty pretty flimsy. So that's pretty cool. Here we go. I got this on top. I, I might as well just go from top to bottom. This this must be my deer hide. Yeah. Hmm, that's different. I'll have to check and see what color that is. But that's, I mean, it's, I don't know if, I mean, you gotta keep in mind these are, these are wild, you know, this is wild hides anyway, so definitely it's got a distressed look, which is kind of cool. Um, not what I was expecting. And like I say, you know, this distressed look very likely comes from the, the hide itself and the skin itself. So, Got a little bit, a little bit of color variation, and you can see the stamp there where they kind of had it. Um, that's how they identify it, the tannery, whose is what. The tannery is actually in uh, Boone, Iowa. So I was looking. I think it'd be pretty cool to go there and, and kind of take a tour and see the process. But 
I was a long way from Georgia, so maybe I'll work that in. We'll see. This is sharp. Look at this. Look at the snapping turtle, man. Like I said, I just kind of got a little bit different. Look at that tail. That's a... Uh, running out of room here. It's pretty neat, man. This is uh, another snapping turtle, kind of a traditional brown color. What the heck color this is? Like a gunmetal gray or something? That looks like elephant hide right there. That's cool. Here's old Bobcat. Got the Cites tag in it. They cut it open to be able to tan it. <laughs> There's. That's that's a, a very soft, supple hide as you might expect. Not a whole lot to it right there. He's old bobcat. Kind of slim and trim. Here we go with an otter. Got a, a hole in it. That's not a skinning hole, but it's pretty, pretty interesting. I believe this is a coyote. They're not labeled or anything. Look at that. We got a nose tan on there. They're not labeled. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of a guessing game and you can see any blemishes in the skin out that looks kind of like birdshot right there I don't know if that's where I think this was the uh, if you follow along on my my day-to-day uh, -day trap line video I caught a kind of a blonde reddish color coyote one morning and that was this coyote it was slipping a little bit on the back right here so I don't know if that is if that's actually from you know the 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 first slipping I don't know what what that is if anybody's an expert tanner leather worker any you know chime in and let me let me know your thoughts because I am all new to this the only exposure I have is uh, there's a beaver you can see this one I, I kind of tried to high grade my beavers too a little bit you can see this one got I don't know if that's, a couple of these look like bite marks, some of them looks like buckshot, but um, here's a coon. Another bobcat, that's a, that's a super soft, it's like the same color, that's a super soft, uh, this is, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's another coyote. Got the same. Got the same issues in the hide right here. Um, so, I don't know. That's a that's a sharp color though. I don't know how well you can see that. My beaver. There's another coon. That's, again, it's blemishes. It's pretty thin. Pretty thin high. <laughs> There's another beaver. That beaver's actually, I was, I was kind of hoping this. Uh, this beaver, the other one not so much, but this beaver's pretty thick in the bag, and it may be more of its, its uh, stiff still. So one of the one of the things I've run into, I've been tinkering around. I bought a, a deer hide uh, just to try to tinker around and, and practice on while I was waiting on this. And so I've made a couple of uh, wallets of different things just messing around. But the deer leather is so soft and supple compared to like cow beef leather, you know, that uh, it it doesn't it doesn't hold the shape or feel the feel like a, a typical wallet that you would purchase you know a typical wallet's pretty stiff and you can see where this one I keep I keep I usually carry my wallet in the front pocket so actually this kind of looser feel works out better for me but you can see it's kind of um, almost deformed a little bit just because of the way it fits in my pocket now that doesn't bother me any I like that um, I like you know because I keep it in a front pocket um, it kind of wears easier than a, a stiff wallet 
but I don't know, you know, not everybody is going to be expecting that. So if I were to make a wallet and sell it to somebody, I don't know that they would be expecting it to be so loose and maybe dissatisfied with it. But uh, it's pretty neat. I think it turned out. But that's that's one thing that I was thinking. I, my concern was with all of these after I got into this, I already sent all this $500 worth of tanning off to get tanned. Um, and then when I started messing with this, I, I realized, you know, the challenge it could potentially be because I knew figured all these hides were going to be thinner um, but I wasn't sure beaver was the one thing that I wasn't sure about so I don't know if it might be possible to use you know a part of a beaver as the back portion and then you know the, make the inside out of coyote or, or uh, whatever anyway if you if y'all have any uh, leather working experience any any expertise let me know because uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just making this up. This is, this is, I think they left this one on the bottom on purpose. This one's pretty cool. Look at that, like electric blue coon. Man, that's a, that's pretty cool. That's actually kind of, I think it, I think it's just because of the, I think it's gonna definitely loosen up as it goes. But anyway, like I said, I am uh, excited. Don't have a clue what I'm gonna do with this stuff. Um, but uh, I've got some other other hides. I've got some more beaver tails. The the beaver tails from when I uh, I made my um, my beaver tail oil. I saved all those skins. I got them in the freezer. And my thoughts were, if this stuff if this stuff turns out and I find something to do with it, you know, I've got a, I've got some that I can already go ahead and send off to have tan. Because otherwise, you know, this took uh, probably took about three months, which is which is a, a reasonable turnaround time for for. Uh, tanning and leather stuff but anyway uh let me know your thoughts if you any thoughts on projects if you've worked with leather projects that you can do with a you know a, a soft leather that still turn out and uh any ideas man because i'm i'm super excited this is something different i've never seen coon leather or coyote leather before so um you know and in, in my mind i'm always trying to think outside the box and think i mean I think it would be way cooler than having a store-bought wallet or, you know, I know a lot of handmade and leather leather items are, are popular right now. Um, so, man, I think it would be cool, especially as a trapper, to have a, a coyote leather wallet or even as a deer hunter. Um, so, anyway, let me know your thoughts. I'm pretty pumped, and uh, I'll keep you posted on what what I figure out with this stuff. And, uh, and like I said, man, I'm always, always thinking, trying to come up with a different angle. And... Uh, it's cost me some money and will in the future too, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun and, and uh, you gotta be thinking about something. So anyway, hope y'all are enjoying your summer, not getting too hot, keeping cool, and looking forward to trapping season because it's coming up fast. I gotta get traps dyed and ready and uh, pretty pumped up. I'm gonna be going to Ohio this year, trapping. And uh, so I definitely we'll keep y'all posted and uh, we'll be doing videos on how that goes and we will see y'all next time. Thanks. I'll give you a close-up so you can get a better idea. That's a that's a coon. You can see the blemishes. Um, I mean, that's that's wild. That's wild critters. Um, you know, that's how it's going to be. There's that electric blue coon or whatever color that is. That's going to be that's going to be cool, man. I'm pretty pumped about that. I wasn't sure how that was going to look. I had a couple things done like that. The beaver. I like that color. I got to go back and match these colors because I like that that color. I hate. You know those couple of issues right there but that's a I like that a lot I like that a lot and there's the other beaver it's a lot softer like I say I think it may be just maybe this one took an extra turn in the drum or something I don't know but there's old coyote and you kind of see what I'm what I'm talking about here on the shoulders but uh overall and one issue i mean this is pretty thin so i mean you're you're talking about best best case scenario getting you know a couple wallets or something out of it it's going to be a challenge especially with all the pieces that are kind of different colors i wasn't sure how it would work and how you know me trying to dye it would work that's a that's a bobcat but um there's another another coon kind of a dark brown a little bit almost a red tint here's my other coyote it's kind of a buckskin color Let's 
snapping turtle. Now I'm telling you, that's 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 cool. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do anything out of this, especially the way it's turned and all. I mean, there's not a lot of a lot of big pieces to work with, honestly. But that is a uh, that's cool. Still, I have seen I have seen knife sheaths made out of with the tail kind of on the front, run down the front of the the knife sheath. So check out these beaver tails. They turned out. And they're a lot thicker than I anticipated. We get kind of a buckskin, that blue color, a darker brown, and a black. Which I'm figuring, you know, there too, I mean, that's going to be pushing it to get the width for a wallet, but a watch band or something. Like I have no clue. Never made any of this stuff outside of the couple of wallets that I put together. But um, I'm excited to give it a try and see. Otter. There's another another cat. And then my last two snapping turtles. That one's got a little bit more to work with, honestly. That might be that, that old big one that I caught while I was trapping. Pretty sharp, man. I'm, I'm pumped up and excited about this.